guys, so since I made my minimalist zero waste bathroom essentials video, I have had an absolute ton of requests for recipes for my mouthwash and my toothpaste. Um, so that is what I'm going to do today. This morning, I just ran out of both, which never happens, at the same time um, of my toothpaste and my mouthwash. And so I thought the perfect time to um, film me making them again and to show you guys how I do it. Um, so let's just hop right in. So here are all the ingredients you're going to need for both the toothpaste and the mouthwash. Um, just some water, here I've got some filtered water, some coconut oil, some baking soda and uh, an essential oil that's optional. And a spoon to scoop it out and mix it all together and then a jar for your toothpaste and a bottle for your mouthwash. So let's start with the toothpaste. Um, I have mine labelled here because I also make my own deodorant and it's in a very similar jar and the mix looks the same and I don't want to end up putting deodorant in my mouth or toothpaste on my underarms, so I have mine labelled. So um, the, what we're going to do is fill the jar halfway up with coconut oil to begin with. So that is about half filled now and what you want to do is then add half the amount of baking soda as you have done coconut oil. So for example if you have four tablespoons of coconut oil you just want to do two tablespoons of baking soda. So what I'm going to do um, in this case is just fill it half up again the remaining amount with baking soda. So now that I've got all that in there I'm going to mix it together until it turns into a creamy toothpaste concoction. And once that's all mixed together nicely, we're just going to add um, a few drops of our essential oil. I've gone for peppermint here because I like the mintiness. I'm going to add about 20 drops of this. And then I'm going to mix that all together once again just to make sure that it's all evenly minty. And then you can see it's a nice creamy toothpastey consistency that's really nice um, and i've had a few questions about the uh, baking soda content in my toothpaste now if you have sensitive teeth you might want to add a little bit less uh, baking soda just because it can be a little bit harsh on the teeth um, in this case it may seem like a lot to go in with but this toothpaste lasts me around a year so in each going there's not actually that much baking soda inside but if you are concerned about it or you have very sensitive teeth you might want to add um, half the amount of baking soda in there and see how you go but there is enough just to add a little bit of an abrasion but not enough to damage the tooth in here so there we are that is the toothpaste and this will last me like I said about a year um, and it tastes great and my teeth have never felt cleaner so I highly recommend you guys try it um, if you want to try uh, with a smaller container and just have a smaller amount of toothpaste so it doesn't last as long and just so you can have it, um, a little test of it then go for it just remember that it's half the amount of baking soda to coconut oil and then you can add whatever essential oil you like to flavor it with so for the mouthwash it is just as simple you want to get your jar and fill it almost to the top but so there's a little bit room for the rest of the ingredients with some filtered water so you can see I filled mine up just with a little bit of room left for the other ingredients but it's mainly going to be filtered water and then I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking soda. This bit can get a little bit messy if you have a narrow, uh, a narrow neck, a narrow neck bottle like I do. Um, maybe I should use a filter but that's right, I don't mind. And then you're going to add just three to five drops of essential oil. I'm using peppermint again because it's my favorite um, essential oil to use um, orally. And it gives me a nice and fresh flavor in my mouth afterwards. So I'm going to add five drops in there. And then all you need to do is close the lid and give it a good old shake. And there you have your mouthwash um, and this tends to last me about two to three weeks and it's dirt cheap I've already got the ingredients baking soda water and essential oil you don't need the essential oil but it gives a nice aftertaste and it works really really well I love it 
So I hope you guys like this video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, if you enjoyed it. Um, and thanks for making my toothpaste and mouthwash with me. This is what they look like, this is their size, um, and I absolutely love them. And I think they look really cute in the bathroom as well. And they last so long. And as you guys see, they're so cheap to make. So if you do try them out, let me know and send me photos on Instagram and Twitter because I would love to see um, how you make them and maybe if you use different essential oils or the cute little jars that you guys use, I would love to see them. So make sure that you link me to those and let me know if you're planning on trying um, to make these. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.